A brazen shooting caught on camera. Mom, you just shot. I did. Cold-blooded or justified? As reported by our Oklahoma affiliate KFOR, bail bondswoman Chastity Carey has asked her client Brandon Williams to come down to the office. He's in violation of his bond agreement. She plans to revoke his bail and take him into custody. Also, there is Carey's 19-year-old son, Justin Henderson. A camera in the room is on, showing that things start out friendly. You're a girl? No, you're a boy, ain't you? The conversation then turns to car. Don't drive that Mustang with boots. With heavy steel toe boots, don't. Williams, who was originally arrested on three counts of second degree burglary and possession of marijuana, has no idea the person who bailed him out wants to send him back to jail. Boards are expensive, dude. They are. I ain't gonna lie to you. I see that pretty little challenger down there that. Oh, yeah, my challenge is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Carrie gets up to shut and lock the door. Oh, uh -huh. She tells Williams to put his hands behind his back. Her son is ready and waiting with handcuffs. What? Turn around. What do you mean? Turn around. What's going on here? I'm going to sit and talk to you in cuffs. We're going to chat. Well, I'm not getting no. no cuffs. Yeah, actually, you are. For what? Turn around. Open the door. No, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Don't! Put your hands on me! What are you doing this to me for? Why are you doing it? Hands behind your Williams won't comply, and when he heads toward an open window to a balcony, Carrie rushes to her desk drawer. What are you doing this to me for, man? She grabs her gun, and without any warning, shoots. Oh! Holy Mom! I did. Bomb. Oh, my God. Chastity Carey leaves the room and calls 911. 911. I just shot a man. Okay, did you say you caught a man or you shot a man? I shot. By the time cops arrive, 38 year old Brandon Williams is dead. Carey is arrested and charged with first degree murder. Will prosecutors be able to prove malice and intent? Eight months later, the case goes to trial. Carrie's defense, it was self-defense. Testifying Williams would grab the gun and shoot her and her son. Carrie claims she only meant to maim Williams, not kill him. If she actually intended to kill this man, she's within a foot of him. She could have done a kill shot to the head. She didn't do that. She downward angled towards his back area or to his side at the time when she's moving. So that's not a kill shot. But would the jury buy it? After hearing all the evidence and watching every frame of the shocking surveillance video, the jury comes back with the verdict. Not guilty. The video is important, but what's not on the video is even more important. What's not on the video was the reasonable doubt. After the verdict was read, some jurors were visibly upset. They later said if given the option of a lesser charge, like manslaughter, they would have convicted her. Carrie and her attorneys are now receiving death threats from people all over the world. But y'all deserve the same fate as the victim of your client. She takes advantage every day of criminals needing bond money, and somehow she took advantage of the criminal system again at, at her own trial. Williams' family plans to file a civil lawsuit. The family at this point, they want two things. They want justice, and they want this to never happen to anybody else's family. For Ashley Milton Williams' ex-wife and mother of his young son, the loss is hard and senseless. Brandon was a good guy. He had a lot of things to teach him. The last thing he deserved was to have his life taken from him. And when it comes to the woman who killed the father of her child... I hope your decision will forever haunt you. You've had one judgment day, but you'll have another. Now tell us what you think. Did the jury make the right decision? Join the debate right now on our Facebook page. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.